those LA drivers, raining, Ugg boots. I was the first to wear the Ugg boots, by the way, so Were I'm you? allowed. How long ago? It, a long time ago. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we made it. I yeah. just ran right from the car under the show. It's very exciting. It, it is. I was wondering why you still had your jacket. I thought you weren't going to stay long because the jacket oh, no, was I still wanna on. Stay. I want to stay. Good. I want to stay. I want to dance. Yeah. I want to play. I want to have fun with you. Yeah. Thanks. What song were you listening to back there? I don't know who it was, but I was rocking. You were rocking. Yeah, I'd love good. to know because you were really getting really? down to was it. Was it embarrassing? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> We have a secret. <laughs> yeah. It just seemed it's an like accident. you were just ready to stop listening to it and something happened. I don't yeah. know what happened. <laughs> I think you were listening to Joss Stone, somebody told me. If and you don't know who that is, you should get her CD. Joss Stone's amazing. Yeah, awesome. She's incredible. Awesome. She's like a 17 year old white girl from England. You're kidding she me. Sounds, she sounds. She was white? Yes. I know. She sounds like Aretha Franklin or yeah, something. She's, she's incredible. She's incredible. Anyway, yeah. congratulations. I feel like I, I'm partially responsible for your success since I keep handing you awards. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Yeah. If the Desperate Housewives are up for any award and Ellen's handing it out, we win. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so, I mean, it's a silly question to ask, but I mean, it really must be. Because you think, okay, it lasts and then at some point it drops off, but it's like people are just, the show is so huge. It, it's really just a phenomenon. It's opening up all over the world. It's just this huge international success. It's, it's crazy. Really, is it all over the world now? Uh, just about. Well now, and, and speaking of overseas and uh, international, I had no idea that you're from, are you from England? I am. How, how is that so? I'm, how long have you been here that you have no accent? I came over when I was 10 years old, which was very difficult because everybody made fun of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you had the little English English accent, you get up and read out loud in class. Everyone was there, sh 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 laughing, and they used to call me Little English Muffin. So, so yeah, so, so I had a really fabulous, intelligent retort, and I was, oh yeah, you American cheese. Yeah. <laughs> That's. That I'm is here so to embarrass myself that, on your show. You know? That's so childish, though, that you'd actually get your feelings hurt because someone calls you an English muffin. Oh, yeah, I know, and I did. I really Why did. Why is something wrong with that? Like you could... I don't know. I like English muffins. I know. cream cheese and bacon. Yeah. It's a really good. Or just a little bit of butter sometimes. Okay. You know? Yeah. Why not? And some raspberry jam. Yeah. Or boysenberry nice. is nice, too. Mm. But crumpets I enjoy as well. Yeah, how English of you. Yes, yeah, darling. We must have tea sometime. All right, then, yes. because you know my accent is very well as well, also. <laughs> 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 so that was good. Actually, I had to practice a lot to get this American accent. So I used to come home from school, you know, in tears from being called this English muffin. And I go, all right, I can't speak American, I mean English anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I got it, I can't. Yeah, and it's a really kind That's of ugly, how you get isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah can't is, it doesn't can't. sound, and somehow you were happy with that. Yeah, when yeah. I got to that, it was very difficult. And no one makes fun of that. Well, I, w I moved from <laughs> New Orleans to Texas when I was 16, and they made fun of my accent from New Orleans. And then I was in Texas two years, and then I moved back to New Orleans, and then I had acquired a Texas accent. You can't win. Then they made fun yeah. of my Texas accent. That's exactly what happens to me. I go home like, oh, you bloody yank. Yeah. And here they're like, what, what are you? Are you from New York? Yeah. Do you think I sound like a New Yorker? No, I don't know what you sound like, but you don't okay. sound like... <laughs> It's it's not. Uh, I don't mean. I don't want to say that you sound um, uh, strange. Strange or yeah. uh, like S like just off. Not not even. But <laughs> you know. I, I'm just very simple. Really. No. No. I don't mean it that way. No. You know what I just noticed? You're What's just wearing that? one earring. Oh yeah. I, I like everything on an angle. I, I don't like things that are uniform. Well, and, and, and so I actually, I did this myself because my mother was very strict when I was little and I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or nail polish or have like a Farrah Fawcett haircut and uh, she wouldn't let me have pierced ears and so I, I only wanted one, thank God. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I pierced it myself with a big fat oh. carpet needle. No, yeah. you didn't. I did. I almost passed out. I pulled it all the way through ah. and finally the post for the little diamond was going to fit through it. I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh dear. I had to sit down, head between the knees, yeah. What, did you put ice on your ear and then do it? I started that way, but then it was too slippery and I, I and just... And then you just put a needle through your ear? Oh, yeah. I don't think I'd do it again. <laughs> no. Well, no wonder you just have one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd stop there, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't like things even. Yeah, I so like you like everything things... everything a little off. Not... Oh. All right. <laughs> um, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back with Nicolette Sheridan. We're back with Nicolette Sheridan from Desperate Housewives. And, uh, you know, I heard that you love to, to drive fast and do daredevil things, which I don't do daredevil things, but I like driving fast. So what we planned 
is you and I were going to race outside, but it's raining. We set up, look at, we, we set up an entire course oh outside. Oh my God, I love it. I look, look at those at cars. Oh, well. I know, but come it's. Come on now, a little rain never it's hurt raining. anybody. Well. I'll do it, I'm okay. You will? Yeah. All right. If I can't make it, if I have to, if I can't for whatever reason, uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, Jamie Kennedy will do it. How yes. about that? <laughs> okay, what about both of them? All right. <laughs> Let's call Jamie Foxx and see if he'll come down. All right, um, perfect. No, you, if, if I can talk Jamie into doing it. I'll take him down. All right, we'll do it a little later in the show. All right. You're telling me during the commercial about your adorable new little puppy. What is, what's the puppy? Oliver, he's a little white golden retriever. Oh. And he is just, he is uh, How my old? heart of hearts. He's 16 weeks now and he's exceptionally bright. And I've been sick so much that now if I sneeze, he goes and gets me a Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> he really True. does. That, oh, isn't no. that hilarious? Yes. And, and what else? You, he's, uh, he's a special dog, you said. He's, he's a very special dog, and then he started swimming at a very young age, and I'd just come back um, from Christmas vacation with him, and the house was a mess, and I, I was there all by myself, and so, of course, the higher my fever, the more I have to clean. You know, it's the perfect time. Yeah, 103, the closet gets cleaned out immaculately. And so I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning in the house, and I don't have anything on because I'm feverish. My pajamas are all wet from, you know, just, oh, it was just a... So you, you were cleaning naked? I was cleaning naked. And uh -huh. the next thing I know, Oliver is in the swimming pool. My love, my heart, he's in the pool. Ah! I go jumping in the freezing cold pool to save him. He's a retriever! <laughs> you know how to swim? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so now he likes to go in there all the time. Are you going to come and get me this time? Because <laughs> he forces you to go in? <laughs> well, that's a strange dog. No, not really. Oh. They love water, yeah. 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 Well, yes, because he's a, so that's uh, actually not He tries that. to swim in his dog bowl, his yeah. water bowl. He, yeah. he makes a puddle and lies in it. He's white. Oh, God, he's oh. always dirty. That's the thing about because I used to have a, a lab like that, and it gets so, so dirty. I, I just think it's kind of, uh, uh, what's the word, we, to, to get in a pool like that. Um, strange? Yeah, kind of, but... Um, Naked? No. <laughs> um, it's not strange, but... A little strange? No. Um, Odd. Yes! Yeah! One. You're each getting Tommy Cologne Spray for Men and Tommy Girl, the first women's fragrance from all-American fashion icon Tommy Hilfinger. That's for Housewives there Sundays at 9 o'clock on ABC. 11-year-old hero and inventor will be here after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back with Nicolette Sheridan and Jamie Kennedy. They're about to race. You ready? Yeah. All right, ready? Go! Oh, my car's here! <laughs> Come on.